Hi, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, I will figure out editing one of these days, I'm sure. So the next, um, I put a lot of these that I've previously shown you onto my Tiny Decisions app. And once a month, I'm going to sp spin that and pick a project that I will work on to finish during that month. And so for February, it was this one. I also worked on this one for Bringo. And it's uh, Lizzie Kate's Be Who You Are. And um, so every other day I pull out this and work on it. And the next day I'll pull out um, my Whipco project and do that. So this is what I've got so far. So be who you are because those and those. <laughs> Hopefully it'll make sense when I'm finished today. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So hopefully by the end of February that'll be done. Uh, that gets worked on tonight. Because I worked on the other one that I'm about to show you last night. This is my other one. And this one is Home Sweet Home. And in here, it they are done as pillows, but I'm going to do mine as a bell pull. So, the home and the sweet, um, the other home in the back is the same as the front one. But like I said, I'll be doing it as a pillow. And I've changed the home color to be blue, like three shades of blue. Because even though that looks red or pink, it's actually like a rust. And this is what I have, whoops, this is what I have so far. I really like this fabric, like it's very mottled, different colors. That's another piece that I bought from uh, Hand Dyed by Rolanda. So I worked on that one last night, so tonight I'll work on the other one. And then there are two pieces, yeah, two pieces that as soon as uh, Baringo was over, I was able to finish them. This first one um, was a zip case for sunglasses, but I've sewed the top closed. It's got sunflower on it. And I made it, whoops, and I made it into a little zip case. And I keep my scissors in there and stuff. And when I throw it in my bag, I don't have to worry about my scissors poking anything. And, uh, but I mean, it does unzip all the way around. Because I kept that part. <laughs> But it's nice, I can put my my um, my little needle case in there too, and and uh, so yeah. And I got this kit, totally not even opened, from the thrift store for $1.99. It was just all done in tent stitch, but I really like it. So that's that one done. The other one was a, um, let me see if I've got the pattern book here. So no, I did stick it down here to be put away. Uh, there it is. Okay, sorry. Um, it was a, I think it was compliments of different uh, stores I could give it away. It's a Gloria and Pat. And then uh, this is what it was supposed to look like. And this is what mine looks like. This is just a piece of wood I got from Michael's. And I painted it. And then I mounted it on. And then I bought a new cording, like the cording machine. And uh, I did two shades of pink cording around the outside. I really like how it turned out. So I have it on display with my... With my other, um, shoot, with my other, 
lost my book. Um, Valentine's things. Okay. Ah. And then my final finish is Dory. And this will be a side panel to a, um, a bag with a zipper on it for going to the pool when the pool reopens after we're all able to go back out and about. <laughs> and I forgot to show you this one. This one was is filled with all my orts from 2020. And it's hands-on designs Mary with the uh, cranberries. And then I did uh, oversize red and green beads for the outside of it. So that's all my orts it's stuffed in there. Okay, now we're going to do just a couple um, of my knitting. Show you what I've been been working on for knitting. Oh, I forgot to bring my sweater over. Um, maybe I can show a quick picture of it. This one <laughs> is very long. But you knit it and knit it and knit it until you get it long enough and then you sew it and it becomes kind of like a little poncho. But it just kind of keeps your shoulders warm but doesn't hang down where it's getting in your way. I wanted it for doing like um, when I'm sitting here in the evening or um, mainly for craft fairs and stuff. Because a sweater I find I get too warm and a... Um, 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 or the sleeves tend to get in your way and stuff so um, just quickly bring up Facebook to show you that other one okay and then I'm working on a flax sweater and let's see I, I just have a black and white version so it's not the best but it's by Tin Can Knits it's a free pattern and uh, This is what I have so far. That's where my head will go through. And uh, and then these are the tops of the sleeves here. And then one's the front and the back. So, plugging away on that one. I do a lot more knitting up in um, when we go to the shop because uh, that's... Um, sorry. That is where uh, we go when we go to do our metal art. So um, if Joe's doing something and I'm I'm not needed, then uh, that's generally what I do is do some uh, knitting. Now these are inside out because I'm working on the um, heel flap right now. But uh, I'll see if I can. That's whoa. Shoot. Just about pulled. Did I pull it off? Oh, I did. Oh, dang it. I think I better just put it away. And I did. I'll have to uh, pay attention to that one. Sorry. Um, I'll show you next time. <laughs> Maybe it'll be done. And oh, I hope I didn't lose too many stitches. Okay. Uh, quickly, I will show you... My sweater. It's done in Lion Brand um, Thick and Quick that I got from our dollar store. So $40 sweater. <laughs> well, actually it wasn't. It was $36 sweater. So. Okay, let me see what else we have here. Did, 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 did. Showed you those, showed you those. Showed you that. Okay. I, um, I won a, a, a giveaway from Dina, half stitch, cross stitch. 
So I won that chart there. And she also included the perforated plastic or perforated paper in the back there. But she also included fabric if I want to do it on um, fabric instead. And uh, it came with uh, all the floss on a floss on floss rings. First time doing that. <laughs> and then um, she also included this little, it's a beading buddy. And it's like a needle minder. It sticks to your, and holds your beads in there. Maybe. Holds your beads in there, makes it easier to do your beading on small projects, which I thought was really cool. And she also gave me this Lizzie Kate. Be silly, be honest, be kind. So, thank you very much, Dina. Add that to my stitching list for this, oops, for uh, this year for sure. And I love that little bag too. Okay, and then uh, order, I ordered some more other, I ordered a few things from um, the Russian channel, uh, bob, mybobbin.com. And my daughter and I both decided we want to do this project together. So I ordered it. And uh, so we're going to do the, the moose, Christmas moose. So I've got to get that all ready for us to start. I also got this one. This is going to be my birthday start in March. Uh, I just love that. I think it's gorgeous. And then for Christmas, my husband told me to, uh, was there anything I wanted? And I said, well, there's a few kits or a few pattern books I'd like from uh, Stony Creek. Oh, okay, go, go order them. Okay. <laughs> Don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> so, this one was a freebie. This one is a freebie. I really like that one. I think it's cute. And then I ordered the um, just one of the hangers. I think I'm going to do that little one that's standing up that I think is so cute. And then I got these. And these kind of go with my seasonal snowmen. So this is spring, and summer, and autumn, and winter. And I ordered the, the I got two of those for free because they were monthly series for free, and. Um, one sec, I just lost. Oh, here they are. <clears throat> um, and then I also got the buttons. Okay. So, I believe this one goes with the winter one, where you get the little red bird and the snowflakes. And then, um, I think these ones are the others. So we have a little bird and the carrot. I think this one is summer. It's supposed to be like a seagull. I think this one is the fall. And then I got the carrot noses that I needed for my bell pull. Because that's why their faces haven't been finished, because they all have carrot noses. And then there is a few more in here, but I'll get to those patterns. I haven't showed you those ones yet. So this is another series I want to do. There's Autumn. And these all have buttons on them as well. This one is uh, a leaf, two leaves. Oh, and a flower. And then this one is Summer. And they go quite nicely with the other ones that I'm doing. This has two seagulls. That's it. And then there's spring and it's a flower and a bumblebee. 
And these are just, like, they're not huge by any means. They're uh, on 14 count, 10 and 3 quarters by 2 and 3 quarters. So they're not huge. And then winter. So the next time I might order the, um, the frame and just switch them out. And that's got the a little red bird and a snowflake. So that's what those other buttons are for. And then these were on sale, so I and I really liked I really liked this this crow here. It has, so it has some cute patterns in it. And then I got this cat one here as well. The one here where these look it out the window at them. I don't know if there's any more. In there. Oh. And then I bought this piece of Cashel linen, vintage blue whisper, and it's a fat quarter. And that's all my haul. Now, my first video was. December 28th, 2015. Now I know I don't do a lot of videos and probably after the, taking me this long to do this video, I probably should do them more often. But, so I would like to do a little giveaway. Um, I'll give a keyword and then um, if you would like that, just put that in your comment. So let me just grab them here. There's six of them all together. So there's this little kit. And it comes with the fabric, the pattern, all the floss. And the keyword for this one will be Hive. H-I-V-E. And the next one is this wedding one. Same thing, comes with everything, has not been opened. And we'll make the keyword for this one, wedding, W-E-D-D-I-N-G. <clears throat> and this one, another kit, not been opened. And we'll make this word garden, G-A-R-D-E-N. This one, another kit. And we'll make the word lighthouse, L-I-G-H-T-H-O-U-S-E. And just move my note there. This one is a Mary Inglebright, and it's a full kit, never been opened, all the floss and everything there. And it says, happiness must be grown in one's own garden. So we'll make the word happiness, H-A-P-P-I-N-E-S-S. -S. And the last one is a Brucella pattern. And it's called Sister. Same thing. Everything's there. And it's called Sister. And we'll do the word Sister. S-I-S-T-E-R. So if you're interested in any of those, just leave, leave one of those words or all of those words. It doesn't matter. Um, just one winner per, per person. I'll ship anywhere. And, uh, uh, and I'll draw... I'll draw on the 20th of February. No, I'll draw on the 28th of February. And um, I'll let those people know who, who won. And uh, if I have time, I'll do a short video at that time and uh, let everybody know. All right, I'm going to uh, go and clean up my mess now. And uh, 
I'm sorry it took me so long to come back and visit. Uh, let's hope 2021 is a little bit better year than last year. And uh, we'll talk at you soon. Take care. <clears throat> Big hugs from Patty. And happy stitching, everybody. Bye for now.